Good day everyone, so this is Alvin again from the Philippines. So today I am going to talk about Miss Universe Colombia 2019, Gabriela Tafur. We will, I will be talking a lot about her and what I think about her participation. What I think about her, especially when it comes to her participation in the Miss Universe 2019 pageant. So I will be doing this assessment of all the Miss Universe 2019 candidates. So don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this, especially in other contestants as well. And at the end of every assessment videos, I will also be posting my ranking on where will I place that specific contestant based on the region. So we have Europe, Asia Pacific and Africa and the Americas and the Caribbean. So these are the three regions. So today we're talking about Colombia. So obviously she will belong to the Americas. And since it's the first video, so she will be the only one on the ranking as of the moment. But the rankings will change once new contestants are being selected and being crowned as well. So let's start in talking about Colombia first as a country in Miss Universe pageant. So for Colombia, they have already won twice. In the pageant and that was in 1958 with Luz Marina Zuruaga and Paulina Vega in 2014 the most recent one and with IMG holding the pageant they actually placed three out of four and in 2015 they placed first runner-up with Ariadna Gutierrez in 2016 second runner-up with Andrea Tovar in 2017 first runner-up with Laura Gonzalez and last year they unfortunately, unfortunately, they did not place last year with Valeria Morales and we all know what happened last year. And to be honest, one reason why Miss Colombia are probably doing well in the competition, especially with IMG, is that Miss Colombia has a very huge social impact and involvement in this social work that helps the community. It is actually a huge part of it. It's not just about makeup. It's not just about the runway. It's not just about the walk. But being involved in social works is a huge part of being Miss Colombia, which is really something that we have to commend. And I actually have to agree with one of the comments that they have read online that if IMG took over Miss Universe a long time ago, Colombia would have won a lot of Miss Universes already because as they have said, charities are just a huge part of Miss Colombia. Now this year they're sending Gabriela Tafur Nader. She is 23 years old and she stands 5'10". She speaks Spanish, English and Portuguese. Amazing. She's currently a model and a lawyer. Graduated with a distinction from Universidad de los Andes and she successfully pulled a back-to-back -back victory for her state in the national pageant which is Valle and she recently joined a run which honors the hard work of the armed forces in Colombia. So profile wise, she's already one of the strongest and she is actually a very, very intelligent woman. So if, if I'm competing in Miss Universe 2019, she's definitely one of the contestants that I'll be afraid to compete with because she's really strong. And sash wise obviously colombia is also one of the strongest well physically she is a very very beautiful representative from colombia and we would actually expect that she will bring back the glory days of colombia after a bad result that happened last year and her body is also very good very fit and very beautiful and she knows how to carry herself on stage she already looked very polished and ready for an international competition and with how she looked right now, imagine how strong and how prepared she would be in the Miss Universe competition with a lot of time to prepare for that pageant. So there's just no doubt in my mind that Colombia will be coming very, very strong this year. And with all the compliments that we have, that I have for her, it is very, very possible that we will be seeing Colombia on top again this year. And to be honest, I would actually consider her as a front runner and I know it's very too, it's too early to say but she definitely got the quality of a Miss Universe. I will not be surprised if she will win and it would be a fool not to see her in the in the semifinals. And well, it all depends on how things pan out, but as of the moment, good job to Colombia. This is just a really really good selection and I'm really excited to see more of her and especially once the competition begin. So, that's my review of Colombia. 
And of course, don't forget to leave your comments below. And of course, the things that I need to know more about her, which could also affect my future leaderboards in the Miss Universe 2019 pageant. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to see more of my reviews of the Miss Universe 2019 contestants. So here's my ranking for the Americas. So obviously, Colombia is the first, so she will be number one. And obviously, based on her quality, it seems that she will be staying at number one for a long time. So thank you very much for staying with me and have a wonderful day again from the Philippines.